Hi designers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of preparing your images for print in Adobe Illustrator. This brochure template is available on my shop. I'll post a link in the description. So whether or not you've been really organized up to this point on keeping your images in a folder, having them linked directly in your Illustrator file. First, let's go to File, Package, and navigate to the location where you're going to save your brochure. And I'm just going to collect everything, Package. And this way, whenever we go to edit and prepare the images for print, we can ensure that we're not editing the original image if we need to crop or make any other adjustments. I'm going to open up my links panel and you can go to window links. And you can see that all of these images are linked, which we want. We don't really want any embedded images. And we're going to go through individually and make sure that each of the images are 300 DPI resolution and CMYK color mode. So with one of the images selected, let's go to this little flyout menu, edit in Photoshop. And you can see on this image, it is more of a horizontal or square image. And when it's placed in the document, it's more of a vertical orientation. Depending on how much of the image is being cropped or a mask, we may want to crop the image itself just to optimize the file size. In this case, we're not zoomed in too much, so we're just gonna leave it uncropped. If I go into my document with the white arrow, A for shortcut, I'm gonna click on and select that image. And if I look up here in the top, you'll see the transformation dimensions and our width is 4.8. So we can round that up. And in Photoshop, go to image, image size, and we have a large image right now, but the resolution is only 72 DPI. I don't want to resample the image to 300 DPI at that size because that's huge. So I'm going to uncheck resample. And that way, when I change the resolution to 300, it's going to downscale that width and height. At this point, I'm going to click resample again because I want to change the width to, we'll round up to five inches and click OK. And now control zero to bring it into view. You can see up here in the tab, it says it's in RGB color mode. So let's go to image mode, CMYK color and click OK. And now let's save this image with control S or file save. And when we go back to Illustrator, it knows now that we have updated the file. So yes, we'd like to update. And I'm going to go through and do that for all of these images. So tapping A on the keyboard, I'm selecting the image. And in my links flyout menu, edit in Photoshop. This time the width is more than seven and a half. So when I go to image, image size, the resolutions happens to be odd on this one. I'm going to keep resample on because the image is not that much larger than the placed image. So let's round up to, let's go to eight on the width and we need to resample to 300 resolution. And you can see when you resize here on image size. So this time it did upscale. In this case, the original image may not have been quite high enough quality. So you do wanna make sure when you place images that they are high enough resolution for the size you're placing them or if they're cropped and zoomed in that they have enough detail in the image originally. So let's click OK, go to image mode, CMYK, and let's save that one. And you can also see in the links menu, the link icon has turned into a yellow update. And so here in the links panel, there is that little update link icon. So all of these images happen to be pretty much the same size as they're placed. But I do want to show you an example of if the image placed has a much larger canvas size. So let's say this placed image again, I'm gonna scale it up, holding down Option Shift. And let's say we had it placed more like this. So the image itself is much larger than the visible image area. So in this case, I'm gonna take the black arrow and I'm gonna grab, this happens to be a masked object. I'm gonna copy 
the image as it is right here. Go to Photoshop. And now let's go to File, New, or Control N. And you can see the resolution is only 72 or screen resolution. So let's bump that up to 300. And let's look at inches for the dimension. It's NCMYK already. And let's go ahead and paste as a smart object, which is good. We do want to place it as a smart object for right now. And you'll see when I've placed it, it has created the canvas to be the entire size of the image. So when I use my white arrow, you can see the canvas is including the areas that we don't see. So now in Photoshop, let's open our layers panel, hide the background, and we need to trim off the excess. So go to image trim, and we want to trim all of the transparent pixels. And now we want to go to image size and looking at Illustrator, the height was our black arrow. The height was about 4.3. I'm going to go ahead and do four and a half. And in image size, that's where it's going to proportionately scale the width. Click OK. And you can see there's still a little bit of transparent pixels. So I'm going to transform this layer with Command T or Control T. And let's scale this just slightly to get rid of those pixels. And now let's do a file, save as, navigate to our folder of the links. And we want the file type to be a JPEG, or you can use a TIFF. And now we can either override this image, or maybe we'll want to keep it still and just name it slightly different. Back in Illustrator, we can either go to File, Place, or open up your Links folder and drag and drop the image. And now let's position it. Now we did save our image slightly larger, so I'm going to have to scale this down. And now whether or not you used a mask or just place the image, we do need to get rid of that other image link. So with our new image on top, I'm going to do Control X to cut it. And I used a mask, so I'm going to click into the mask and delete this image. And now I want to do a paste in place with Edit, Paste in Place, or Shift Option B. And now we have a more optimized image to the orientation and placement in our design. I hope this video helped you understand how to prepare your images for print and keep them all nicely packaged together for in the future. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.